Hello. Hi. Nice to see you guys. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Fair RC show. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff for you today and uh, very, very excited to release some cool and unexpected new products. Um, I think you're going to be surprised with a few of the things that we've got for you today. And uh, I think it's going to be um, quite a nice show, especially if you stick around to the end. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, so, so you've seen the, uh, the agenda for today. Um, we're going to be talking about the, uh, first of all, about the Easy RC um, Mini Monster, which has just come out, which is really cool. Um, and then we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a nice price for our new Blue Jay, which is only available um, during this live stream, I think, is $99. It's a very good price. And uh, and we've also got a few mods coming up. So that's going to be, uh, we've got a few that um, very interesting looking, uh, very interesting mods. Um, and we've also got a special giveaway, um, which we're not going to tell you about right now, but that will come around the uh, middle of the show. And if you stick around to the end, you're, you're going to get something a little bit more special as well. Uh, we have a couple more announcements and other things um, to talk about. So yeah, nice to see you all here um, and great uh, to see you all writing comments. Uh, thanks, just keep that up, keep writing. It's, it's great to see what you guys are saying. Um, so yeah, hi George, hi Hamels, hi Mini RC, hi Tony, hi Shorties, and uh, hi Psycho Garage or Garage, um, Robert, Rome, Nathaniel. Uh, nice to see you all. And uh, yeah, great, uh, great to have you here. Uh, we're gonna get started quite uh, quite soon. We have a message from Connor. Nice to see you, Connor Vore. Um, installed the Batranzi shocks and wheels. They're great. Um, I'm very happy to hear that. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing more and more Batranzi stuff in the future. Um, all right. So today, yeah, we've, uh, we're going to get started on it. Um, I'll just let you know quickly that um, uh, you know, for mo most of you, you know that I'm currently living in China and the live streams are from China, so it's morning here. Um, but uh, for the next couple of weeks, I'm going back for a short trip to England, uh, so we won't have any more live streams, um, any planned live streams for a couple of weeks. Uh, we might have some uh, short, unexpected ones, but uh, but nothing like uh, like we have normally. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to going back and seeing my family. I haven't seen them for for years now because of COVID. So this would be the first time after COVID that I've managed to get back. Um, and we're going. I'm going to a cool RC festival when I'm there. It's called Fam Jam, and it's really nice. Uh, it's one of the biggest uh, land-based RC. Uh, festivals or events. It, it lasts for three or four days and um, it's run by Claire. I, I can't remember her full YouTube title, but uh, Claire, you know, who's um, uh, connected somehow to Kevin, uh, Kevin Talbot. Um, so they're both going to be there as well. And uh, and, we've, and Ferrasi are sponsoring the event and we've got a big um, set up there where we've uh, sponsored with a lot of cars from FMS and Hobby Plus. Uh, people can just go by and play them uh, in them. Like uh, they've got, they've built a nice uh, mini crawler um, course for people to try. So um, yeah, that, that would be really cool too. Um, all right, uh, let's have a quick look before we get started. Uh, sounds like a fun time. Claire's RC, thank you very much, Tony. Um, Crazy Quad Brothers, hey. Um, Claire is awesome. That's that's true. And I, I you know, I I watched her her video of the Fam Jam last year, and it looked amazing. And it, you know, after watching it, that's why we uh, decided to sponsor that event. Um, all right, so let's get started. We've got um, a really cool and unexpected kind of you know come out of uh, left field um, release from EZRC. EZRC haven't released a lot recently. But what they have released in the past is mainly crawlers, you know. So, so they're um, kind of connected to FMS. They have, um, you know, when uh, FMS brought out their Chevy K10, EZRC had the Glacier, which is kind of a, um, a cheaper, more entry level uh, version of the same thing, unlicensed, of course. And and it's, uh, you know, they they have some really nice products. Uh, one of my favorites is the 
the Bronx, which is of course based on uh, or inspired by the Bronco and uh, looks uh, really, it looks so nice. It, and my son plays with it every day. So it's, um, yeah, one of my favorites. Um, and so for them to, you know, they've been kind of quiet for a long time and for them to suddenly come out with a mini monster truck is kind of cool and interesting. So, um, so let's have a look. All right. <clears throat> Here it is. And so obviously, um, you know, a lot of people love the, the big um, mini monster. Oh, sorry, they love the big monster trucks. Um, this is a mini. Uh, you can see it's nice and easy to to take with you. You know, it's, it's, it's quite a small package. Uh, it's got a bit of weight to it. Where's my knife? Um, yeah, it's got a bit of weight to it. But yeah, very small, very compact. And the advantage of these ones, you know, is firstly that it's because it's compact, it's very easy to take take around with you. Um, the price, of course, is much lower than you'd get from from the bigger kind of trucks. And it's also, you know, it, it runs and ma you, the maintenance on it is much cheaper because it's so small. The battery is only 2S. You only need a 2S battery, which is so cheap and easy to get. Why isn't that opening? <laughs> I guess I didn't. Uh, okay. What's going on? It's pretty tight. There we go. Okay. Let's get it open. And we've got the Colorado. Okay, so this is a license. This is the first licensed product from Easy RC, uh, the Chevy Colorado. Uh, of course, Colorado, they, that's a pickup truck. Um, and it has in the past been converted into a monster truck. Um, and this is what you get when you open the box. Chevy, uh, fully, it's a license from General Motors. It's got the um, you know Chevy logo just here. Uh, Chevrolet written along the front. Um, it looks really awesome. Let's turn it around. Available in three different colors. We've got red, white and black, and white and blue. And I personally prefer the red one, I guess. I think the red one looks coolest, uh, but the blue one is also cool. And so I think today we've got the blue one. And I'm also going to show you the red one a little bit later. So let's get this box open. And it is kind of packed a little bit tight, so you're going to have to bear with me while I get it all open. Um, yeah, side as well. Yeah, the, the cost of maintenance on these things is, is so much more customer friendly than the bigger ones. And I think for a beginner as well, these are also pretty cool because they you know, you're not going to have to invest a huge amount of money. Um, and and it's nice and easy to control. You know? You're not going to have a huge crash. You know, I've seen a lot of the, um, the really, really big ones, and they're really exciting. But um, I feel kind of nervous to play it as a beginner. Um, whereas something like this, I can easily pick up and play without any, you know, any problems at all. So let's have a look. Okay, this one is in here. Okay, looks really nice. Uh, it's a Lexan body, of course. Um, this has a, this is a light bar along the front. I don't think the actual headlights work, but there's a nice light bar on it. Um, let's take these off. Go. And then it just lifts out. Just lifts out. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's nice and low. So it's going to be uh, have a good center of gravity, good for turning, high speed turning, and things like that. And yeah, just really great. Um, it's held on by by clips, but these these clips have uh, little tags on them, which makes it nice and easy to to pull on and off hopefully and then we've got the transmitter locked inside and i'm gonna have to cut open a few more pieces here let's 
see if I can get it out from here. All right, so we have a, a wheelie bar, which is very nice. It comes with four screws, and I believe uh, you just need to take out the screws here, and then you'll install it, and that will help you to maintain a cool wheelie, which is very nice. And what else do we have? An extra set of stickers. Okay, and we have our transmitter. Our transmitter seems like it's stuck. Oh, this is coming through this hole. Nearly broke it. Okay, here we go. We have our transmitter. I saw um, a Mini RC. You've got one, right? I'm not sure. Have you released your video yet? Um, I saw you had a, a cheeky one in the background the other day. I don't know who else noticed that, but um, but yeah, I saw that one. And uh, uh, so I'm looking forward to your video on that as well. Um, what the heck, that little truck is fast. It's 45 kilometers per hour, this one. That's what they advertise it as anyway. And um, I've, I've tested it out a little bit in the office and it's, it is fast. Uh, it has a, has a really nice engine. I'll, I'll, I'll start it up a bit later. You'll be able to see the wheels spinning and, and hear the sound. Um, it's, it's not very loud, like the ESC is not loud and it's, it's very smooth, very smooth drive. 3S capable, I'm not sure if it is because it has to fit inside. So I, I'm not sure exactly, um, but we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Um, brushless for $150 is very good and it's very, uh, it's reinforced with metal, it's, uh, it's very durable. It's advertised as extremely durable. Um, metal shocks, it has a honeycomb structure, um, chassis. Um, it's, it's really, um, you know, something that, that's going to last you, I, uh, you know, I believe. And it's, you know, also all of the parts will be available on our website. So if, if there's anything you need to replace, we'll have them in stock for you. Um, <clears throat> all right, uh, quiet. Yes, it is quiet. Um, 3S? Oh, it is 3S? Are you sure? I thought it was 2S, but maybe you're right. You're right. Um, and, okay, let's let's open it up. So we've got, it's 2S, advertises 2S on our system. So let's have a look. So we've got these clips here. They come off easily. It's not so easy to put them on. There's the body. Come on. This, um, this, Front. I really like this grill. It looks it looks super nice. Um, yeah. And this is the chassis inside. So you can see here we've got um, a place for our battery. We've got our fan, our cooling fan, a, a metal. I'll try to point to it. A metal. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> my brain's gone dead. Um, for uh, keeping it cool. <laughs> um, you can tell me what it is. I mean, it's too, too early for me. I've totally forgotten. Um, okay, so it's, it's really, um, yeah, really, really good. It's got metal um, shocks, metal links. Go on, heat sink. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a metal heat sink. Um, and here, We've got this one plugs into the battery. The battery is locked down under here, so it's nice and safe. Um, you can see it's got this honeycomb structure, which is made to uh, absorb the impact of any crashes, uh, which is very, very cool. Um, and that's about it. The tires are very grippy, very grippy, um, solid. Uh, they are vented, vented tires. Um, just very, very cool. So uh, let's let's put in our battery and get it started. So, <clears throat> so the battery locks in with this here. You see there's a little turning bit there and then it should just open up. Um, just a minute. There we go. Just opens up there and then this battery can slide in and out. There we go. And this is a um, uh, uh, 7.4 volt, um, 1050 milliamp, um, 25C battery. Um, so yeah, just something like this. 
Okay. And so let's uh, turn it on, shall we? So just to turn it on, you just need to put this, this plug into here. Yeah, the running time is pretty short. It's advertised as um, 10 or 20 minutes. Um, let me quickly check the manual for you on that. But yeah, it's about 20 minutes running time, which is, it, it is pretty short. So it might be good to have a spare battery when you go out. Okay, so I've just put it in, and then uh, there's a power button just here, which I'll press in a minute, but I need to uh, put in the, batch, the, the uh, batteries for the transmitter. So <clears throat> I have another transmitter. I'm just going to do batteries. While I'm doing that. If it's a rebranded HyperGo, I have beat the crap out of mine with no issues. It's not a rebranded HyperGo. It's not. It's based on, um, well, it's, um, it's not connected to HyperGo at all. So I uh, um, may, may have some similarities, of course. I put that the wrong way. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Let's. When will it be available on the website? It should be available today. Yeah, it's one hundred and forty nine ninety nine. It's a really good price, um, and it should be available. It's now. It's it's on our website, so we'll put the link for that. Yeah, already. And I always get confused with these ones. Which way around they go? There we go. Um, all right, it must be this way. <laughs> this is arrow pointing the other way, so it confuses me. There we go. There we go. So turn it on, and then let's get this this one. Okay. Now when you turn it on, but just be careful you're not pressing the throttle. And I'm just going to hold it up and show you the speed of this thing. Okay, very cool speed. It's a lot of fun and it's fast and it's got that kind of kick to it that you really want with a uh, with a monster truck. It's just, you know, when you press that button, you just feel that power is kind of exciting. Even for a small rig like this, it's got that excitement factor, uh, which is very, very cool. I can't drive it for you, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'll show you this one. Oh, <laughs> the lights off. <laughs> Here we go. You can see it a little bit better now. Let me hold it up for you as I try not to press the accelerator. Okay, steering is about 35 degrees both ways. Um, okay, the, um, the transmitter is very, I'm just going to turn it off so I don't have any accidents. Okay. The transmitter is uh, very simple. It's, it's the same transmitter that we had for the FJ40, actually, um, but it's rebranded with EZRC logo on it. Um, it has the standard things such as steering and throttle reverse, steering and throttle trim, um, and direction. It also has uh, channel three, which um, controls the, let me see, where's the, um, the manual? Okay, so just make sure I get it, get it right. Um, okay, so come on, Joe. <laughs> uh, I had I had it I had it before, um, but you, basically you can control. I think channel three controls the cooling fan, and um, then channel four controls the uh, the lights, I think. Um, so something, uh, so that, you know, you get a little bit of functionality from it, um, flips up and down and stands up, which is quite nice. Um, so let's get these ones back on and I'm just going to pass them over uh, in a minute, but before I do that, I'll just show you the red one as well. So we have the blue one and the red one. There's also another, uh, black version available. Which color do you like the most? For me, it's got to be the red one. 
Um, yeah, I just think it looks cooler. But uh, what do you think, guys? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to pass these over now to my colleagues so that we can move on to the next part. But this is 149.99 for a, a really awesome, really fun truck. I'm going to be playing it later. Um, we found a skating park, near, uh, like a uh, skateboard park near to where we live. And uh, yeah, we're going to take this over and have some fun with it later. Um, so OK. Such a good price for that truck. It's super quality. Thanks so much, Ken, for your for your input, because I know you've had a, li a little bit more time with it than I have. So it's great to hear from you. Um, that blue and white looks awesome. Nice. OK, cool. Let's um, let's move on then. So I mentioned before um, that we have a special price for our new plane, the Blue Jay, which is ninety nine dollars, ninety nine ninety nine. Uh, the link for that is at the top of the page. So if anybody is waiting or, or interested in getting it at that special price, then just need to click on the link and then you'll get it um, Yeah, with a huge discount, uh, especially considering it's a new product. Um, we're really hoping that more people can get these out into the airfields to share with their friends because we think it's a really nice product and more people should should see it and know about it. Um, so Blue Jay, once again, is um, it's a ready to fly, so it comes together with the transmitter, it comes with the um, uh, it comes with the battery as well. Um, it's got everything that you need um, to get started flying. It's kind of beginner friendly, but um, not maybe not like your first airplane because it, it doesn't have reflex. So it's uh, the gyro con there's no gyro control. So it's um, very um, you, you can feel the um, you can feel the plane kind of um, a lot more with, when you're controlling it apparently so so as as it's flying you know as it's turning you can feel that a lot more because it's not balancing itself out uh, and correcting your mistakes for you um, so it's a really nice kind of second or third plane um, and it's now for 99.99 and all you need to that's all you need to get started so um, if you're looking for a low cost entry level plane that's a really good one okay so um Let's see. It would be. It, I could see how the FPV stuff would be too. Um, yeah, that would. I always like the FPV stuff on uh, on airplanes and drones and stuff like that. Um, it would be cool to get some stuff like that. Um, all right. Uh, next up, I'm just going to quickly announce that um, uh, we're going to be releasing a new Surpass model. This is a motor for one to eighteen scale crawlers, but uh, I, I believe this is especially designed for the TRX4M. Um, it comes with a motor and the ESC. This is a brushless um, censored motor, uh, and it's 11T gear, uh, 3500 kV. Um, so yeah, it comes with a Gecko Mini 18 ESC, um, and this here is uh, currently going to be on uh, going going to be sold on our website for $99. Uh, so if you're looking to upgrade the motor of your Traxxas uh, TRX4M, then this one is a, is a good option for you. Okay, so um, let's keep it coming then, shall we? Let's go on to the next one. Um, we're talking about our mods next. Uh, so we've got a few mods to show you. And um, so let me quickly introduce. One of the first mods that we had a little while ago, uh, maybe one year ago, uh, was called the Bad Baby. And it's, it got a lot of attention because it is a very kind of cool, vibrant pink color. Uh, and it's, it's perfect, it's suitable for anybody who likes pink. And it's especially good for people who maybe um, want to get into RC, but want something a little bit more um, for them. You know, instead of, you know, if, you're, if your dad gives, you know, dad gives, that his normal RC to to their daughter to play, her, the daughter's going to feel like it's um, it's still her dad's RC. You know, it's not special for her. Um, but if it's pink, then it kind of makes it feel a little bit more like this was really especially thought of and um, purchased with you know with her with her in mind. So uh, this that's the kind of idea behind it anyway. And um, this one was really nice. 
and we're going to be releasing now a few more in our pink line. Okay, so we've had our rusted line, and we're going to continue with that. Uh, we also have a few. Um, we're going to have a few more in this pink line. So uh, the the ones that we show are going to be um, well, they're all different color pink. So you'll see. So first one comes the FJ45, FJ45, um, similar pink and black color scheme. You can see the pink is a bit different to this pink. Um, and this one is, it just looks so classy because of the, the you know, the cool scale detail of this car. Um, the, the pink um, style just, yeah, it just looks really classy and elegant. Um, I like the black roof as well, and they've also painted, we've, we've painted the, the bed black as well. Um, so it's still got that kind of licorice look to it that this one had, but the, although the color is a little bit different, um, a little bit softer pink, and very, very nice. It's got a really cool cargo bed. So if you've got like a kid who likes pink and, you know, obviously kids like to load stuff into the cargo bed, um, so that they can drive around. Uh, so this is a very nice one. Um, let's see some comments before I go on. Um, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> you should make a purple one too. Uh, that looks good. Um, B wall says those FCX 24 crawlers are the best on the market. They are very, very cool. I like them too. Um, and it looks great. Okay, cool. Uh, that would look good in army green, this one. Uh, yeah, we might we might have a green version. We've got a we've got a kind of uh, what's a pea green color that it, it was the original color that came out. But um, yeah, we haven't done a lot of repainting with these. Of course, we uh, FMS themselves released a red and yellow version recently. Um, this one is only going to be sold at Fair RC. Of course, we make these, so uh, we make the uh, do the repaints and make the pink ones. So if you want one, um, this one will be available for. Uh, this week, and we haven't quite set the price, or maybe I'll find that out in just a minute. Um, two nine nine. Um, so this the price for this one. Uh, the original is two four nine, I believe. So it's an extra fifty for the paint job. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Very very cool. And we also have for those of you who um, tuned in recently to see that we've got a new Land Rover. Uh, we have this very nice looking uh, Land Rover um, repainted in a sh kind of very shiny, I don't know how to describe it, you know, how do you describe these different kinds of pinks, but it's very glossy and it's um, kind of like a lipstick pink color, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think it's, it's pretty cool. It looks nice, it looks nice with the, um, yeah, with a white uh, roof on and yeah, all the inside, of course, is painted pink as well. So really nice job that they've, they've done on it. Um, and this one is going to be available for 239, 239. So at the moment it's, oh, sorry, uh, put that down. At the moment, it's um, the, the original is uh, 199. So it's an extra $40 for the paint job. Um, yeah, very nice. Okay, it goes with her iPhone. <laughs> Straight out of a movie. I haven't seen that. Rose Gold, thank you. <laughs> That's a, a good name for it. I, um, I guess it's, uh, it sounds pretty, pretty good. <laughs> I have a Tamiya Rover for the Pink Panther, the SAS used, uh, Tony says. And... Bermuda pink. <laughs> you guys are good at naming your pinks. So yeah, these are cool. They're, they're, you know, it's a shame they're a little bit small, so that you know you can't put a Barbie in them. But um, but you can fit some figures in them, you know. And uh, and they do have that space in the seat if you get the right size doll. Um, that that would look really nice. So okay, so we have these ones now, and uh, nearly finished for our show today. Um, sorry. We, uh, well, I, I'll show you quickly the white one, although we haven't uh, finished it. We've got a white version of the Land Rover as well. Um, let me show you this one. This one is 
is also looking very good. We ha um, it's got slight color issue with the door, which we'll fix before before we put it on sale. But this looks very cool. The idea really was uh, to make it as a kind of wedding style car. Um, you know, so I've seen some of these being used in weddings, and I think it would be awesome as a kind of decoration in a wedding. Um, so, but I think we're going to do, do some extra touches to give it that that wedding look. You know, to make it look a little bit more, um, yeah, in that style. And yeah, very cool. I love the green roof. Actually, uh, we we didn't plan to have the green roof. Our mod guy thought it would look better in green and it does look pretty cool and it doesn't have to be a wedding car I think when it's got this green roof and kind of black details on it it doesn't look to me like a wedding car it looks just like an awesome Land Rover so um, yeah very nice he just married with some soda cans trailing the back that's what I was thinking as well yeah I just have these uh, have some little mini cans trailing along the back uh, be very very cool you can transport the wedding ring in this uh, in this trailer, um, sorry, this cargo bed. Um, soda cans would be awesome. I think we've got some as well, so we could definitely do that. Um, and we could put that as part of the set. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Zebra striped Land Rover. Okay, um, so we're gonna have our first giveaway for today. And the giveaway is, uh, is for the Blue Jay and it's $99. 99, sorry, at the moment, we're selling it for $99.99 on our live stream, uh, but we're going to be giving one away. Okay, so if you've already got one, we can always refund you uh, if, if you win one. So don't worry. Uh, if you've got one, you can always, um, you can still join the this competition. Okay, so um, as normal, all you need to do is type in the, sorry, uh, just see a message from here, uh, Joe again, um, did Robert try to say something earlier? No, okay. Sorry, I just saw a message. Um, so what am I saying? <laughs> it's too early for me. Um, today I didn't have any coffee, so it's, um, it's, it's quite a challenge for me. <laughs> so the giveaway, um, all you need to do is you're gonna need to type in FRC, FRC, uh, and then enter, FRC, enter into the chat box. We want to see lots of comments um, and keep it coming, keep it coming. And when, and I need to, uh, the iPad and I'll count down to 10 and I'll take a screenshot and whoever is at the top of the chat box will get the prize. Okay, so what's going on? It's not, okay. How, sorry, I need to go all the way up, I think. Okay, it's not, sorry, it's not working. Can you set it up? Sorry guys, just stop for a minute and we'll get it set, get it working. Uh, but this is your chance to win a Blue Jay uh, and get started in the uh, airplane RC hobby. Um, hopefully, you know, when you get one of these, make sure that you, you do, um, you know, do a bit of training before you take it out flying. Make sure you check um, that you've got the right place for flying. There's a lot of places which are not good. Okay, let's get started. Uh, fair RC, fair RC, FRC, FRC. Okay, um, I'm going to hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then hold it. Take a screenshot. And the winner of this is, it looks a bit different to normal, but it says Days of RC. Days of RC. Have a quick look. Um, yeah, Days of RC. So congratulations, Days of RC. You are the winner. And uh, thank you very much for joining, guys. Um, now, do stay tuned because we've got some really cool, exciting news to share with you uh, for this last part. And um, we also have some extra stuff that you might be interested in. Just hold your horses. Don't click off. Uh, what, what I would like to see, guys, and I know I haven't been on my best form today, but um, I would love to see... Uh, you clicking the like button if you haven't done already please click like that really helps us um, also you know we do these giveaways quite regularly you want to stay in in touch with that you want to stay informed so please subscribe to our channel you know we that really helps us and that's what we aim for um, please subscribe to our channel and and also comment just write comments we love it all right so um days of rc congratulations 
Let me just pass these ones over now. Okay, and that's good. Okay, so we have one last mod to announce, and it's one of the more exciting mods that we've ever done. Um, and we're just going to announce it now. And uh, uh, we've been working on it for such a long time uh, since the K5 actually came out. So this is a K5 mod, and um, it's it's something a little bit more than what we usually do. So as you know, we, we often do repaints. Um, we don't normally play around too much with um, you know, with extra parts and upgrade parts and things like that. Um, this one is going to, um, you know, it's going to be quite different from that. This is the first um, time that FMA, uh, sorry, Fair RC has ever worked together with another um, company. So we're working together with, uh, collaborating with um, a, a well-known 3D designer named William McHugh for this one. And it's also the first time that uh, FairRC has ever made a uh, mod on uh, that, that has upgrade um, stuff included. So um, I don't believe, I haven't seen McHugh here. Um, he, had, he did tune in for a while, but I think he got tired of waiting for us to release it because it's taken us so long to actually arrange. It's, it's quite complicated. But let me just show you. This is the original K5. A very nice um, FMS. Sorry. Oh, this this one's been upgraded a little bit. This is our um, our modded K5, um, and you can see um, you know the standard details of it. Uh, we don't have any other original K5. No. Never mind. Um, and I'm going to compare that with this one. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, and have a look at this, guys. Firstly, just have a look. This is called the Way Cool McHugh. The Way Cool McHugh. Okay. And I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about it, um, about some of the extra stuff that you get. Um, all right, so this is uh, this is actually the most um, complete version that we have. Um, it's actually going to be sold in three different price ranges. Uh, the first one is just a repaint. The second one is with uh, the with Batrazzi wheels and tires also, um, and the third one comes with. Uh, two McHugh parts, which I'll show you in just a moment, and also um, a Petrazzi upgrade kit, uh, which you can change over the wheels and tires, also the steering links, the metal steering links, and shocks. Um, it has a metal servo horn and, and everything included. Um, so that will be the more advanced version. Um, so let me quickly talk to you about this version right now. Okay. Ah, is William here? Okay, nice to see you, William. And it's yeah, um, we're just sharing this, and I hope you like it. Uh, we're sending you one as well, William. Um, so yeah, this is the Way Cool McHugh finally released, and let me quickly share what it is. So so a while back, uh, a long time ago, it could al almost be a year ago, um, William McHugh um, suggested that we work together on a mod. And we were very excited by the idea because we know William McHugh as uh, one of the best 3D print designers for RC cars um, in America and, and in the world. And we, uh, we were very excited to work together uh, with somebody uh, like William because uh, you know uh, William not just brings the 3D print skill, but also the kind of knowledge of the RC culture of the uh, car American car culture as well. And uh, so we got a lot of really cool ideas from William, and we started our um, our mod based on that. Um, and so let's let's show it. First of all, it's repainted in this glossy red and dark gray color scheme, uh, which is you know it's got this color, uh, this two tone color um, along the hood. Uh, this uh, this roof also comes off. 
very cool. Okay, and and the parts that um, William McHugh has contributed to this mod, you can't totally see it from the inside, but um, I'm going to show you this one. This is a zero depth interior, 3D printed interior, which snaps into the K5 uh, body, um, and it it makes it look like uh, like there's a real interior inside. Obviously, the K5 is so small that you can't put a full interior in. Um, but this one, um, yeah, this one you can. Uh, and it's, you can see, it's got um, some nice details. MCQ um, on the seat. We have the steering wheel and the dashboard. And it's, it's black. Can you see it without my face? Sorry. This one is a rough version, actually. It's not totally perfect, but you'll get the perfect versions. Um, okay, yeah, really nice. Now this snaps into the um, the cabin in here, and you can't totally see it because the windows are to quite dark. But let me show you a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it at all here, but if you look in the right light, you can see the seats. Now, if you compare that to this version, and you can't see it so well, but um, but when I look through the window of here, you see all the wiring. You see all the wiring and the um, you know the batteries. When the light switch switches on, you see all that through the window. Um, you can see that kind of here. Yeah, um, and you can see through the car. This one makes it look much more realistic, so it adds that extra look to it, which is really cool. Um, and then we have also this version at the back. And this is a um, swing out rear bumper, uh, which has a tire mount and a jerry can. And it has this clip here. And you just need to open this one. And it swings out like that. And it's mounted with a Batrazzi, um spare tire and wheel. So yeah, really nice addition at the back. And then you just need to clip it here. And now this one, um, the because of the uh, the boxes, uh, this one doesn't quite fit in the box. So it's it comes separately, and you just need to unscrew the original bumper and then put this bumper on using the same screw holes. So it's really nice and easy to get on. Painted black, so it looks really nice. And let's quickly go through some comments, because this is really cool, right? So I just want to see what you guys think. Um, the rear tire mount is amazing. The back is so badass. <laughs> Thanks, Mini RC. Um, I can't stand seeing the wires. So this, you know, I think that's a lot of people feel like that. And uh, this really helps with that. And uh, it's hard to see in the light, but you can see the, the seats and you get that outline of that seat and that car, which gives you much more scale feeling, um, which is very cool. Um, so damn good, uh, nice. I uh, love that it comes with a fifth wheel and tire. Yeah, it's cool. And it's, it's a Batrazzi one. So it's an upgraded wheel and tire as well. It looks awesome. <clears throat> And let's see, McHugh Suburban Mod would be awesome, but I don't know if the mod shop wants to do that much cutting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been really hard working, um, you know, with on, on this one because just arranging all of it and, and doing it in a, in a way that will keep the price at, you know, keep the price point at an affordable place where people will be happy to, to buy it. And you'll find we're not releasing the prices just yet, but you'll find that the prices that we have for this are really attractive, really good. So if you want an upgraded K5, um, if you want one that looks a bit special, the actual the prices for these is is probably the best value that you're ever going to get. Um, so yeah, keep your eye on our shop when we release it, um, and you'll see how you know how good value it is. So um, we're going to um, I'm going to move on now to talking about our other partner for this car, uh, which was Batrazzi. And as some of you may know, we uh, Batrazzi have had a 
a lot of um, cool new products recently, such as their wheels and tires. And, uh, and also they've had, um, in the past, they've also done things like the steering links and things like that. And they have supplied us with these parts for our, our mod. So we've got here steely wheels with brass weights installed. And these are heavy brass weights, foam tires, very grippy, very sticky tires, cool looking black rims. Um, and we have red steering links, red steering link, red chassis links. Um, we have red shocks to match this, this cool red color scheme. Um, so the actual difference between, is this fully mounted? Uh, something lightweight. Um, this one feels really, you know, uh, solid. And just look at the bounce. Well, one thing we really wanted to do was just um, eliminate that kind of floppiness of the K5. And so we really wanted to get those shocks. You can see it's much sturdier, much straighter. Um, it's still got that bounce, which you, you, you want. It's not floppy. It's not flopping around everywhere. It's really cool. So these parts... Uh, will come as a separate kit which you can install yourself. This is obviously to keep the cost down because if we have to pay um, the man hours for somebody to to change those parts over, uh, that's that's a lot of money. Um, and uh, you know, and so to keep the cost down and also give you guys something to do, uh, that comes as a kit rather than a full upgrade. There will be a version available which will be um, without the links and the shocks. Um, uh, but it will have the Batranzi um, tires and wheels already installed. So if you, there's that version available if you want one. Um, but this is one that we've been really, really excited to announce for a long time. Um, the Way Cool McHugh, um, you know, hopefully you guys, if you haven't experienced 3D printed parts before, you know, this one would be a really great way to, for you to get into that and see what that's all about um, and see some of the um yeah some of the best kind of innovative designs that you can do with 3d printing um so yeah very very nice let's get get some comments um windows should not be darkened um yeah i, I do understand that um you know there's something that we weren't able to change um but i i still feel it makes a big difference to the actual car if you can't see it on the screen, but if you actually compare and you look inside this window and you see all the wires, it's such a mess inside. Um, you know, still a great car, but you have to kind of ignore those when you when you're kind of trailing and getting into the scale stuff. Um, you just have to ignore the fact that it's got all those wires and stuff going on in the windows. Uh, whereas these ones, um, same windows, but uh, it looks a lot darker because of that interior. Um, you can paint that interior as well, and I'm sure that would show up through the windows uh, if you wanted to. So, yeah, that's one point. Um, the oil, sho oil shocks are butter. <laughs> they are very cool, very nice. Um, I will have a full deep dive review. Yes, we've sent one to the Shop Mini RC for a review and looking forward to that. Um, smooth and stable. As soon as I get it, uh, yeah, cape crawlers. Okay, no need for that. I'm not interested in that, and I, I don't really care. Um, so, um, yeah, please keep those comments to a minimum. Um, the Transy parts are nice. Um, loving that black and red. Um, cool. So, uh, wrenching is half the fun. Yeah, so so that's what we thought. You know, so um, why put a huge price on it? Um, you know, and do it ourselves when actually a lot of you guys actually want to do that yourselves. And so we put that as a separate package that you get a very good value together when you buy this car. Um, if you really want to show off the interior, get out the Dremel and cut out the back of the cab and glass to make it like a real blazer. Ah, uh, yes. So this is, um, oh, this has been screwed on. So let me show you this one. Um, so what, what William's talking about is this, this here. So this one's um, how it comes in stock. You could cut a little window through here or cut it out so that you can see the interior um, inside much better. Um, all right. And 
thank you very much for you guys uh, who are sticking around. We have one last thing to do, and uh, we're going to surprise you further with another disc another giveaway for uh, this time for the Easy RC Colorado. This is one we haven't advertised, you know, because sometimes people tune in just for the giveaway and then they tune out again. Uh, this is for those people who have stuck around for the whole show um, to, to show you our thanks. So Easy RC, Easy RC. You're gonna need to type Easy RC in the chat box and the, uh, I'm gonna do the same screenshot and choose a winner and the first a uh, person who wins, the first person on the chat box um, will get uh, one uh, Easy RC Colorado um, that's just been released today. Uh, so here, Easy RC, let me remind you, is spelled E-A-Z-Y. Okay, so easy and then RC. You can have it as one word or two words, I don't mind, but it should have a Z in it, E-A-Z-Y. Okay. Um, and let me take the screenshot. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we have a screenshot. And the top of my, of the list, I can't, I don't know if you can see, but that's someone called Cabaret. Cabaret RC. Easy RC, spelled correctly with a space as well. Uh, congratulations. Cabaret, thank you very much for joining in. You are, um, you're going to get, uh, you can contact us through, um, sorry, through Facebook or through email, uh, support at fairrc.com, which you can see just, you know, <laughs> just here, no? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just here, support at fairrc.com, okay. And uh, yeah, contact us and let us know that you won and we'll send you a link uh, with a discount code so that you can buy it and choose the color that you want. Um, and I hope you enjoy it, Cabaret RC. It's uh, great to see you here and thank you very much. Okay, yes, yeah, someone get me a coffee, please. I think that this has been the real issue for me today. <laughs> um, so still trying to wake up. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed some of the cars that we've shown you today. Um, so yeah, see you next time. See you. Bye-bye.